Andy Johnson to move us along and help us become critical consumers of educational research. Let's look at the Scientifically Based Research in Education Sciences Reform Act of 2002. Scientifically based research standards means that apply rigorous, systematic, objective methodology to obtain reliable and valid knowledge. Objective, you do not start with the answer, you start with a question, rigorous and systematic. Present findings and make claims that are appropriate to and supported by the methods. There is no single scientific method. There are methods of science, and the method that you used must be appropriate to the question that is asked. There are places for qualitative research, places for quantitative research, and all the stuff in between. Employ systematic empirical methods that draw on observation or experiment. Observation, this includes qualitative research, which is a very important part of research in education. Involve data analysis that are adequate to support the general findings. Rely on measurements or observational methods that rely liable, reliable data. That means consistent, reliable time after time. And again, measurements or observational method. This does not say that one is more or better than the other. This points to both quantitative and qualitative. Making claims of causal relationships only in random assignment experiments or designs or other designs. In education, this is kind of hard to have random assignment to groups. This is why we often use quasi-experimental research. But to make causal relationships that one thing causes another, uh, we have to, we can only do this when we have random assignment to groups. Ensure that studies and methods are presented in sufficient detail and clarity to allow for replication. The research study should be such that you can go back and repeat that study or experiment. You should design your methods, your procedures. We should know exactly what you did. Peer review. Now, that is the gold standard in educational research. Has it been accepted by a blind peer review journal or other panel of independent experts? Independent mean they don't have a political or financial uh, uh, agenda. And experts in literacy, we want this literacy research to be uh, 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 examined and reviewed by experts in literacy research. And use using research designs and methods appropriate to the research question posed, and we already mentioned that. Just some of the basics of educational research. When we are critically examining and consuming uh, this very important part of education.